and it's estimated that the first vehicle ever seen by one third of the world's population is the Land Rover. In those days, expeditions were part of the development of the vehicle, okay. weren't they? I mean, back in the Series 1 days, we got 80, well, by then I think there were 86 inch Land Rovers, but we had the Oxford and Cambridge expedition. And always rivers to cross, rivers and streams without names. Waters bridged once years ago by men of the 14th Army, who were sometimes called the Forgotten Army. In Singapore, they get the welcome they deserve as the first motorists to have driven across this great overland route. These sturdy Oxford and Cambridge vehicles were examined by the Rover organization on their return, and it was found not a bit the worse for this toughest of endurance tests. 18,000 miles, London to Singapore. For Range Rover to truly be a member of the Land Rover family, it was important for it to prove itself. One of the first things you thought of was take it on an expedition. This was part of the philosophy of development. We built two Range Rovers, uh, the idea being they were going to be driven from Anchorage in Alaska, right down the North American continent, across Central America, down South America to Tierra del Fuego. The Darien Gap in Panama, with its beastly climate, dense, hilly, rainforest, ravines and swamps, stood as a barricade between North and South America. The British Army undertook a road-building exercise through this hostile territory, and it cemented Range Rover's reputation for being robust and rugged. The filmmakers viewed it as another milestone for the Empire. Our Choco friends watched us leave. From now, they would probably reckon their calendar from the year the motor cars came. These smooth paved roads are misleading, and they will peter out and turn into a rough track. So rough in places that it would shake an ordinary car to pieces. Range Rovers were also put to the test in other parts of the world. In 1970, Land Rover engineers and Ken Slavin drove across the Sahara Desert. The thousand mile journey through Central Africa was a good proving ground with temperature extremes and variety of terrain. <laughs> 